Greetings, members one and all of the Salivation Nation. I can't think of a more appropriate time to showcase some very fascinating medals as part of the National Bicentennial Program that the United States Mint had uh, started essentially in 1972 and had continued on here and culminated in 1976 with these medals. <laughs> They came in various different forms. I actually have the bronze medal as well too, but they came in bronze, gold-plated bronze, silver and gold. We're going to look at the, uh, the silver and gold medals here. Quite fascinating indeed. And these were minted with sort of a generic certificate of authenticity that were included in these. And it's a uh, pretty fascinating how this the thing started, Symbols of Our Nation's dedication to representative government and individual liberty are the theme of the National Medal in honor of the 200th anniversary of the United States. Yes, indeed. Very, very nice. And uh, the Great Seal, um, in order, the design for the Great Seal was a first order of business undertaken by the Continental Congress after the signing of the Declaration of Independence on July 4th, 1776. The Continental Congress meeting of Philadelphia resolved that Benjamin Franklin, John Adams, and Thomas Jefferson to be a committee to, to prepare the seal of the United States. Very, very nice indeed. So it's very apropos in the, uh, and for the symbolism, for symbolism of these. And of course the Statue of Liberty is on the other side of the, uh, of the piece here. And it states here that under uh, public law... Uh, 93-179 to oversee the participation by the federal government and the, nation, and the nation's bicentennial have jointly determined that all revenues from the sale of the solid gold medals as well as a portion of the revenues from the one and a half inch gold plated bronze medals will be used to create a scholarship fund. Very nice for the for those that participate. Maybe some of you watching this may be benef benefactors of that as part of the Bicentennial Fellows. Very fascinating indeed. It's a the National Medal of the Bicentennial reflects the founding principles which have guided this nation through 200 years and marks the continuing commitment of our nation to the fuller realization of freedom and justice for all of us as we enter our third century. All right, very good. The revenues received from the sale of the bronze and silver National Bicentennial Medals will be used primarily to fund national, state, and community bicentennial activities. This is from John Warner, the administrator, who was Senator of the United States. Very nice. A lot of different ones were created during the series since it started in 1972. And, uh, but the bronze pieces and the gold-plated bronze pieces are quite interesting. But I really like the silver version. Probably one of my favorite there. there. You got the 50 stars. Look at that. 1776 and 1976. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And isn't that what life is all about? What we live for here in the United States. And what so many others in less free nations strive for. And you can see this particular one was... Designed by Frank Gasparar, uh, Gaspararo, who was a famed engraver. I think he did the uh, reverse of the Eisenhower do dollar, if I'm not mistaken. Other pieces at the time. And then on the back of the medal, we have that seal. The seal of the United States. The American Revolution Bicentennial, and there's the emblem of the Festivities of the program for the National Bicentennial Celebration. Planning there and we the people. Those are the words inscribed on the Constitution of the United States in the preamble. And it was from the declaration leading up to that day when it was first ratified by Delaware in 1787. The Constitution, very nice. It's a beautiful medal indeed in silver. 1.5 inches in diameter. But here is something really special. 
Uh, you see the packaging for the silver medal, and here it comes in a out of box for the gold medal, and then a very attractive wooden box for this medal here. It is the gold medal. Here you see the National Bicentennial Medal, it says there. Very nice indeed. And there's the medal itself that we will pull out here and showcase. Very nicely done. Quite an attractive piece there. There's the obverse with the Statue of Liberty. But a bit more of a thicker frosting on this piece. And I believe this is 90% gold. And there's the seal. And as this, as the case, as is the case with the silver metal, the gold metal does not uh, indicate its purity or weight. But we will weigh it to see what it does weigh in troy ounces here. And it looks like we've got. 0.41 troy ounces there. A little difficult to see. There it is. Now that's 90%. That includes the total weight of the piece. So my guess is it probably has 0.4 ounces. Or maybe a little bit more of gold in it. But nonetheless, there it is in its glory there. A very nice gold piece. Wonderfully struck. Thick frosting. Very, very nice. Now, these gold medals were made in this size. A very odd weight for sure. But they are also made in... 1.2 ounce uh, size as well. Those are much more rare, much more difficult to find and command quite a premium. These picker pieces can be had for a relatively low price. I had acquired this one quite some time ago and I think I paid for about a quarter ounce of gold. Somebody must have thought it was a quarter ounce of gold in this thing but there's definitely more than a quarter ounce but uh, it's a very nice piece indeed and uh, to accumulate the whole collection I pretty much have all the different sizes and compositions I don't have my bronze medals here handy with me right now except for the 1.2 ounce and I think there is also a 3 inch diameter bronze antique metal I think as well if I'm not mistaken of this particular style and design but just a wonderful capstone to the series uh, this is really what it's all about life liberty and the pursuit of happiness on this july 4th on this independence day so i thought i'd share this with you guys hope you enjoyed it very very nice reeded edge by the way on this one the the other metals the silver metal and the bronze metals they have a smooth edge American Revolution Bicentennial. As you can see in the fields here, they're a bit clouded because this particular gold medal does not, it did not come in a capsule, which is a little unfortunate. I was kind of hoping it would. It just comes straight into the packaging, into the felt packaging, and just slips right down in there as such, which is an attractive way to view the metal uninhibited by any kind of packaging but it kind of would have been nice to have it protected a little bit more with that capsule there but regardless pleased to have this i keep this safe and uh it's a very well designed metal beautifully done taking one last close look at it here nice relief to it and gold.
very attractive in gold. Would love to have the the 1.2 ounce size version. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to y'all for watching and encourage you to please rate, comment, and subscribe. And happy Independence Day.